Hey, today I'm going to be transforming this Transformer Turtle into a better Transformer Turtle. I mean, I just got him. I think he's dope, but for the price I paid, I'd like a little more detail. I'm just using a knife to carve some battle damage. But even if just the gray parts were silver, I'd be happy. But I don't like the light gray, so I'm not happy. I'm covering everything with a matte acrylic varnish to get it ready for paint. Some of this plastic takes it better than other others. Oh, well, other types. Uh, there's some different plastics in this one piece. Some are harder and shinier, and they don't take the paint as well, or the acrylic matte varnish, which I use as my primer when the colors are going to be close. So I start off with a pure gold. It's a brighter gold, but it's a thinner paint, so it's not really making a difference on that bright yellow. And then I mix in some spun gold, which is a slightly darker gold, but I know it sticks better. So I mix those two together, make a medium bright gold gold and then I do a few different coats well a few layers on everywhere I'm painting gold to make it stand out or until it looks gold you'll see it's coming along and uh, then I dry brush a little bit of the gold onto the lights to make them shine or look like they're shining but there wasn't really enough paint on the brush I don't think I made a difference with that now I have a satin real brown so it's a darker brown color and it wasn't really sticking so I put a first thin coat then I go back to the gold to do some details on the lights and then the second coat is sticking to that thin first coat so now you can see the brown and it looks dark brown it's not the belt the same color as his chest now his chest is gold and uh, his belt is brown. I'm going with the gun metal. It's like a dark silvery color and I'm doing the gray parts with this metal color because that's what I think they should have been and the belt. You could have done the belt so any other color than the same color as his chest. I would have been happy with that belt and then the chest piece like the front of the um, band can go on him but I think he looked cooler without it. That's why they packaged it. That's why they packaged him without it, I think. But you can see as he's coming along, Bumblebee is like, eh, it's okay. He's not uh, metal yet, because that's a metal Bumblebee from the movie. Yeah. Now I have a lighter, brighter silver. It's sterling silver, and I'm just dry brushing over everything. That's going to make everything look like metal, because it's just going to stick to the edges by just putting a little on the brush and wiping most of it off on that paper towel there, and then just picking up all the edges, just going around crazy. Don't have to worry about it, and it's only going to stick to the edges, and it, any extra just look, makes it look more damaged and more like metal. So I go over everything. I did all the heads, all the weapons, but for the the weapons the handles if I paint them they're not gonna stick in his hand they're already really tight in his hand and hard to get into his hand so that's after the first dry brush he's coming along and the turtles are doing the robot the robots just break dancing and that was a little meme I threw in there just to make um, something in between the scenes anyway I'm doing another coat of the matte acrylic varnish because I want to seal everything up that I already painted yeah bring it all together before I do this black wash because I don't want all the water in the wash to wipe off the paint that I already put on so it's like 30% black uh, acrylic paint and then the rest water so I'm just going over everything and just trying to get in the grooves on the weapons because inside the grooves it can be black and it's not going to stop it from going in his hands but I'm mainly thinking that I'm just going to leave them as raff because the red looks the best you saw I flipped through the different logos at the beginning on the belt and the red just pops out the most and even the bandana with the colors that he is red just looks the best and the swords they fit into his uh, shell there's some little slots so they look cool on the sides and those are gonna go there so I painted them all the way except for the one little tab that sticks in so that they have the tab on both sides of the sword but then I thought he was done and I was having a conversation in the comments with uh, Zilla I think and we were talking about metalhead and someone had put a metalhead head on this guy but I thought it didn't really match but it was a cool idea so I used the extra head I put some white cardstock around to make a mask and painted it yellow and uh, made a metalhead head but we'll see that at the end because this first that's what it looks like with it on but I think it looks way better with it off and you can see now all of them the red is going to stand out the most and look the best so he's staying as Raph well I had, had to decide if he stays metalhead or Raph and I went with Raph in the end but we're going to see metalhead looks pretty cool it's a different head that's the most custom so I painted the uh, bow staff thing 
because I hadn't done that before, but I painted that while I was doing that head for a metal head with a yellow bandana, and he's holding a sound wave boombox. I thought that was cool. But um, thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, remember, always keep your head up. Peace.